Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. This is gonna be a very special vlog because I really wanted to dedicate this into the things that I have learned in the past six years of being a mama. I think you've heard it everywhere that having kids is life-changing. It's amazing how this tiny humans can really change every aspect of your life. They challenge you, they change your perspective, they awaken a deeper love that you thought you never had. I do have two kids Kids, but they're still younger and I know I have so much to learn as they grow older but in this season of my life I just wanted to share the things that I've learned Number one kids need you 24 7 they are like monkeys behind your back. I feel like the art of parenting also involves the activities that you do for them or the little ways that you can find time for yourself or keep them busy and that's the answer. Number two, you will never be ready. I mean, when I was pregnant and I would read the book, what to expect when you're expecting, parenting books, how to raise good children, all these books, I have a long list of books that I've read. You can really never be ready. To be honest, nothing will teach you as much as your children will teach you. And you will learn that day by day. Every day, there is something to learn. My tip is just really not to stress about it too much. You will grow eventually as your child grows as well. Number three, I already said it, it changes you inside and out. Your body will probably never be the same. You will have stretch marks, you will have flabs, you will have cellulite. It changes you, not just in your perspective in life, not in your decisions, but physically. So accept it, love your body. This is the only body you'll have, take care of it. Number four, they grow up so fast. You know, I've heard this saying so many times. People are like, oh, enjoy that moment because they'll really grow so fast and i never really understood it until i had children children that i would see this small all of a sudden they're half of my height they just grow so quickly number five having a clean home is not so important okay i am a very oc kind of mama i like to organize i like to always fix things i like it when the house is neat but then i realize sometimes there is fun in the mess i let my kids mess the room i let them play paint even if sometimes it's really super messy but you know i've learned to play with a mess and really enjoy it with them and you know what sometimes the most mess creates the most wonderful memories as well number six sometimes it's okay not to capture everything i know with all the vlogging and all the cameras and all the phones that we have you want to be there physically mentally and fully with them 100 percent. so it's okay you don't have to post it Number seven, it's not always going to be rainbows and butterflies. The media has clouded our judgment when it comes to parenting and motherhood, but it's not always glamorous. Sometimes we do have bad days. Sometimes our kids are just disobedient or they're in a bad mood or you're in a bad mood. It's okay. We have our struggles, but don't stress about it. Enjoy it and just see the good in the bad days. Number eight, find a style that works for you. There is no right thing in parenting. Nobody can say that it's wrong. Nobody can say that what you're doing is lacking or you're overdoing it. We all have different strategies of how to raise kids. So find a system that works for you. And if it doesn't, find another one. Number nine, being decisive is key. As you get into this journey, you will have countless decisions to make, okay? Whether you're gonna go breastfeed, are you gonna do formula? Is your kids going to this school? Am I gonna go back to work? You have countless decisions to make and you have voices everywhere telling you what to do. But decide on what you want and what is right for you, what feels good in your heart. Number 10, kids are so talkative. Oh my goodness, you know what? When you have girls, they do not stop talking. Okay, so I thought Olivia was very talkative already. And then I had my second daughter. Oh my goodness, they talk so much about everything, what they want to do, what they see, and daming cuento, and sometimes there's just so much questions that, you know, it becomes noise to us. We don't even hear it. 
but sometimes we have to really listen to our kids because when we listen to our kids we really get to know them we get to know their character we get to know their dreams and their wants and their likes and what's in their heart and kids also need someone who can listen to them so hear them out number 11 leaving the house is a whole new ball game it is no joke when you become a parent oh my gosh it's like bring the whole barangay with you when you travel when you take your kids out even to visit their grandparent bring them to their checkup with the doctor it's already such a big production I think that's the perfect word it's a big production and I never thought it would be like this number 12 failures is not the worst thing ever when your kid fails or they make mistakes or accidents even happen this is an opportunity for you to teach to make them grow to make them learn sometimes because we get so emotional or sometimes we get so frustrated with our kids that we end up just getting mad right? but make it an opportunity to teach them really what's right and what's wrong. Opportunities are there to teach your children. So mistakes can be opportunities. Number 13, rules are good. For my household and for my kids, we have certain rules, of course, like no lying, no stealing, no hitting, no answering back, no saying bad words. All these things, I believe, are so good for the fundamentals of a child start them early start them young so as they grow up it's already in them number 14 sometimes you need to apologize we always think that it's our kids that should apologize when they do something wrong but we forget that as parents we also do something wrong whether it's raising your voice you know making the bog we have these rash remarks or quick remarks or reactions apologizing is very important because when your kids see that you're apologizing and they learn how to be humble number 15 parenting should not be done alone i know you have a partner or you have your husband when it comes to difficult decisions it's always good to involve your partner share the responsibility as well number 16 love is the answer in everything that you do do it out of love the way you respond the way you react do it out of love sometimes we get caught up in the moment you have to catch yourself in those moments and say like wait Okay, rather than answering back, rather than saying this, I'm going to stop myself and decide on what to say. Maybe I'll be gentler. Number 17, self-care is so important. You cannot give something that you do not have. You can't pour from an empty cup. So it's so important to fill yourself every day with peace, with love, with, you know, something that really energizes you. Number 18, your partner should always be number one. I know we make all these excuses that my kid needs me. They need you. 24 7 but your husband also needs you we should not neglect them we should always put them in our priority list also you know find the simple things that makes your husband happy whether it's making him breakfast spending time with him watching a movie it's really important to spend time with the love of your life number 19 the journey does not end there we still have dreams and we still have goals and we still want to do many things aside from being a parent and it does not end there maybe this is the season in our lives or maybe this is a chapter in our lives where right now what my role is is being a parent but you know what your kids are gonna grow up eventually these are things that you can think about and pray about but for me let's focus on the now because right now I'm a mom I'm a wife I'm a sister and I'm a friend and those are my roles and I want to make the most out of those roles I want to be the best that I can be in those roles that I have now so we always have to constantly remind ourselves that we have purpose God has given me the most important role which is being a mom because you get to raise them you get to teach them you get to build their foundation and you get to raise human beings who could be the next future leaders who could be world changers and that all depends 
on you. So that responsibility itself is so big already, right? And lastly, number 20, faith is all it takes. So recently, I joined the Seta Fell Mommy Dialogues and it's so helpful really when you gather with moms, right? Because you get to share your experience and you get to learn from them and sometimes it keeps you sane as well. The things that I've learned is that there are four healthy pillars when it comes to a healthy childhood, which is healthy sleep, healthy food, healthy healthy play and healthy skin and I just want to say thank you to Cetaphil for you know sponsoring this video there really is so much to learn pa, when it comes to being a mom and I wanted to gather all these information for all the new moms as well and the best advice you could actually get is from other fellow moms and for me uh, when it comes to Cetaphil this has been a staple ever since Olivia was born I used their Cetaphil baby wash and shampoo with Ollie when she was born and now even with Amelia and what I love about Cetaphil baby is that it's very gentle on the skin also since my kids skin are very sensitive we've also been loving the Cetaphil baby advanced protection cream that is proven protection for dryness and irritation as well so there you go if you guys have anything to share write it down but I want to start this conversation because we can learn from each other uh, let me know what resonated with you <laughs> it would be nice to you know get some reactions from you guys but anyway thanks for hanging out with me thanks for listening and i hope you learned something i'll catch you till the next one bye guys wait don't forget to like and subscribe okay bye